Um, it's a little bit frustrating. Karen Hosier is not mincing words. She and husband Brian have six cruises booked over the next year, but they're running into issues because they mixed and matched their COVID-19 vaccines. Both received a first dose of AstraZeneca, followed by a dose of Pfizer. I have no concerns about it. I trust the science behind it. The BC couple are travel bloggers and avid cruise enthusiasts, but some cruise lines don't see those who mixed and matched as being fully vaccinated. You don't know at this point whether to cancel your trip. And they are not alone. Hundreds of thousands of Canadians heeded the call to mix and match their doses. The National Advisory Committee on Immunization said it was not only allowed, but recommended. One bioethicist says there's a global dilemma of differing vaccination policies. He says those who did mix their doses did what they thought was best and what doctors said was the right thing to do. It's not easily reversible, but I think as things slowly open up, uh, we're going to see more and more problems with this. There are concerns these differing policies are creating a system where different activities are allowed based on how you were vaccinated. People now have restrictions put upon their freedom of movement. And are those restrictions justifiable from an epidemiological point of view? Carnival Cruise Lines and Celebrity Cruises tell Global News they're following the CDC's definition of fully vaccinated, which does not include mixing of different types of vaccines. As for the Hosiers, they say this could affect future travel plans. But it's also going to impact the bottom line of where we spend our dollars. A sentiment many other Canadians may also have as they plan how to maneuver a more reopened world. Julia Wong, Global News.